Hello. Today in front of me I have Vivo X80 Pro smartphone and in this video we would like to share the best display settings to change on this device. So let's go ahead and start. We'll open up the settings and the display and brightness category. So the first setting that we would highly recommend that you try changing is called the screen colors. And as you could already guess, it allows you to regulate how the interface colors will look exactly, regulate the hammer of your colors, the intensity and etc. So there are three presets, three color modes that you can switch between. So the standard one, the professional and the bright one. There is also the very convenient preview picture that allows you to clearly see uh, how the changes that you have applied will well, look exactly. And also the bar that allows you to regulate the color temperature from cold all the way up to warm. The next setting that we would like to discuss in today's video is called screen resolution. And there are two values to choose from that afford two resolutions that you can go with. So 2400x uh, 1080 or 3200x 1440, just like so. So if you would like to, well, have the higher resolution or uh, vice versa, lower down the resolution, therefore lower down the power consumption, we highly recommend that you try well, playing with this option or changing its values. The next setting we would like to review in this video is called screen refresh rates. There are three options to choose from, two of which are values. So if you'll go with 60 Hertz, you'll get a longer uh, battery life and decrease the power consumption. Or you can go with 60, oh, should I say 120 Hertz? which will get you uh, significantly smoother animations and overall visual experience. Everything will be smoother and prettier. So uh, decide whether you value the power consumption more or the motion smoothness of the interface. Or if you do not want to choose, you can always go for the smart switch value, which will automatically switch between these two uh, options in accordance with the current system state therefore if you have sufficient battery it will opt for the higher value if not it will lower down the screen refresh rate respectively Alrighty, so moving on to the last setting that we would like to show you in this video it is located not in a display and brightness category but in the lock screen and wallpaper and it's a well-known always on display feature so once activated it will show some set content uh, even once your screen is completely locked uh, when it's turned off and when it's asleep, basically. So here, once enabled, we can uh, choose the design for the hour always on display. There are plenty of designs to choose from, obviously. So let's go with this one, for example. Here we can change the color of it. So I'll apply some gradient. And as you can see also, there is an opportunity to change different parts of different de designs and they, well, uh, vary from design to design but as I mentioned I'll go with this particular one here we can preview how it will I mean what it will look like exactly so let's apply the changes that is also the display mode setting that allows us to decide well under which circumstances the always in display will be active so either uh, once we move the phone slightly it will only be switched on in this scenario we can uh, create or should I say sets set some certain time frames for it to be display between the start and end times or display all day which basically means that uh, always on display will be visible and will be active at well, all scenarios and we are also at last able to choose what notifications we'll receive or should I say what notifications we'll see at the always in display so we can either show or make invisible the phone messages and Facebook notifications just like so by checking or respectively unchecking those boxes. Alrighty, so that would be pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and bye bye.